First on seven tonight, a second vicious team beating caught on a cell phone camera in a matter of weeks now. In this video, and we admit it's hard to watch, you see a teenage girl targeted by a group of her peers. At one point, the victim tells us that she was tased. And tonight, weeks after the attack, the victim's mother says the school hasn't done anything to help. Tom Rousey is live in Capitol Heights tonight. Tom, do we know how this, this victim's doing? Well, it's been weeks, but she's still recovering. I talked to her yesterday, Leon. Fairmont Heights High School is just down that hill there. Some of the students involved in the fight go there. The fight itself, though, happened at an apartment complex behind me here. Now, the mother says she was told, even though the fight happened off campus, that this was a school matter. But she says she doesn't know what the school is doing about it. When ABC 7 broke the story Friday of a brutal beating at Suitland High School, one mother watched in particular horror because it looked all too familiar. Three weeks before, she says this happened to her daughter, Sade Washington, a senior at Fairmont Heights High. Not only does the video show a group of girls kicking and beating her while she's on the ground, but at one point... Sade says she was tased. She says it happened three times. How could this nice, kind girl, you know, all of a sudden get beat up by seven girls and nothing happened? Mother Bonita Porter shared pictures of Sade's injuries. She had a lot of swelling, but no broken bones. The attack happened at an entrance to the Addison Chapel Apartments. Porter says she was told even though it was a quarter mile off the Fairmont Heights High Campus, this was not a police, but a school matter. And they had not communicated with me whatsoever what's going to happen to these girls. Sade said she was too upset to talk on camera, but tells us off camera she was attacked because she'd said hi to a girl her attackers didn't like. She says four of the girls were fellow Fairmont Heights students, and fights are a big problem in the school community. You don't want to worry about, oh, my kid's going to go to school and they're going to be jumped. You shouldn't have to worry about that. Just like I told her, you don't have no right to put your hands on anybody. Within the last hour, Prince George's County Schools got back to us about this. They say that disciplinary action was taken in this case, but they can't say what disciplinary action for confidentiality reasons. They also say they did report this case to the police for assistance. Live tonight in Capitol Heights, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Tom.